After two weeks of talks in Glasgow, diplomats from almost 200 countries have agreed to ramp up their carbon cutting commitments, phase out some fossil fuels, and increase aid to poor countries on the front lines of climate change. The United Nations Climate Change Conference concluded on Saturday after a one-day extension with negotiators agreeing on a new global pact to tackle climate change. However, some encouraging progress was made. Now, the negotiators agreed to phase down coal, the dominant source of carbon dioxide emissions in the process of electricity generations. It is the first explicit mention of fossil fuels in a COP agreement. Now, an agreement was also finally reached on Article 6 of the Paris Agreement, which relates to carbon market mechanisms, paving the way for the effective implementation of the Paris deal to cut emission through market-based approaches. During the COP26, more than 100 countries have promised to end deforestation by 2030. In addition to the revised coal language, the Glasgow Climate Pact includes enough financial incentives to almost satisfy poor nations and solve a long-standing problem to pave the way for carbon trading. Also closed off all the outstanding elements of the Paris rule book, the Paris Agreement, after six years, it had not been completed. We did that here. That is historic. And we also ensured that there was more money coming to support uh, developing nations. Uh, and therefore, I think what we have achieved here is something really quite remarkable. Now, on the issue of, of coal, uh, I should point out, Trevor, that for the very first time in any of these conferences, the word coal is actually reflected in the text. That, again, is a first. Uh, yes, of course, I would have liked to ensure that we maintained the phase out and rather than uh, changing the wording to phase down. But, you know, on the way to phasing out, you've got to phase down. But ultimately, of course, what we need to ensure is that uh, uh, we continue to work on this, uh, on this deal, on the commitments. And on the, on the issue of coal, China and India, of course, are going to have to justify to some of the most climate vulnerable countries what happened. You heard that disappointment on the floor. So what I would say to you that, you know, overall, this is a historic agreement. We can be really, really proud of it. But of course, this is just the start. We now need to deliver on the commitment.